It is considered one of the most violent race riots in our nation's history. 100 years ago today, the Tulsa massacre left the neighborhood known as Black Wall Street in ruins. Hundreds were killed, thousands more displaced. Here's a look at the legacy of this historic piece of land. Kevin Ross's great-grandfather owned the Zoom Lounge in Greenwood. The people didn't want to talk about it. You know, it was just like, if we talk about it, more trouble will come. His family's legacy, one of the many businesses burned to the ground in a neighborhood so prosperous, it was known as the Black Wall Street. Dr. Shindel Seal, professor at the University of Redlands, explains the violence began after a 19-year-old black man tripped getting into an elevator. He tries to stop his fall, grabs onto this, you know, 17-year-old white girl. She screams. She doesn't press any charges, but that somebody heard her, and that was all they needed. The burning of the Greenwood neighborhood in 1921 has been described as the single most horrific incident of racial violence since slavery. A white mob looted homes and businesses and killed an estimated 300 people. Author and graphic designer Carlos Moreno moved to Tulsa in the 1990s and has spent years looking into the history of Greenwood. The families that... Um that arrived in Greenwood in the early 1900s to build this community, built it to leave something for their children. And that dream was lost not once, but twice. They had their land and businesses stolen in 1921 when, when the community was attacked. And then they had their land and businesses stolen again 50 years later when they had when there, there was a highway built through. Even though a block and a half is all that is left of the business district, today it and the area around the land is thriving. So you have um, lots of um, black-owned businesses, um, sort of a new generation of black entrepreneurship. What it shows uh, to me is black resilience. It shows excellence. It shows ability, even in the face of profound resistance. But what we don't talk enough about, I think, here in Tulsa, and, and now that this is a national conversation, um, is the fact that Greenwood did rebuild. I mean, despite all odds. 